In this video, I'm going to talk about frequency modulation, or FM, and show you a simple FM radio transmitter circuit that can transmit your voice about 20 meters. Hello? Hello? This video builds upon material I covered in my amplitude modulation tutorial, so make sure you've watched that first. Remember that modulation is the process of manipulating a carrier wave to carry useful information and amplitude modulation is when you change the amplitude of a waveform in order to transmit analog or digital information. I have an example here with my waveform generator that's putting out a 1 MHz sine wave that's being amplitude modulated at 1 Hz. Now this is what a frequency modulated waveform looks like. The amplitude stays the same, but we're changing the frequency. In this example the carrier wave is 1 MHz, but we're slowly changing the frequency, so it's transitioning between 0.9 MHz and 1.1 MHz. We're doing the modulation here at 1 Hz, so it's nice and easy to see. And this is what it looks like at a more realistic frequency of 1 kHz. The shape of the wave on your oscilloscope will depend on your trigger settings. Now, in real life, no one's going to frequency modulate a 1 MHz waveform, and we're not transmitting any useful information yet, so let's move on to a practical example. Consumer FM radio is usually transmitted around 87.5 to 108 MHz. That's a much higher frequency than most people's benchtop waveform generator can handle, so we're going to have to come up with our own circuit to accomplish this. What we want is a circuit that oscillates and produces a sine wave of around 100 MHz, but we also want to be able to control the oscillation frequency so we can do frequency modulation. The type of circuit that we want here is called a Voltage Controlled Oscillator, or VCO. There are many different types of voltage-controlled oscillator circuits out there, but not all of them are suitable for FM radio. And there are many FM transmitter circuits out there, but in my experience most of them are very unstable, so I made my own. This circuit requires a PCB, and I got mine from OSH Park. It cost me $3 for three of them, including shipping, and I'll put a link in the video description section. The first part of the circuit is just a 3.3 volt linear regulator to create a nice stable 3.3 volt supply. The main part of the circuit is a MAX2606 voltage-controlled oscillator IC. This inductor sets the approximate frequency range that the MAX2606 will oscillate at. If you read the datasheet, you'll see that this chip can oscillate from 70 to 150 MHz, and we just want it to put out roughly 100 MHz for the FM band. 390 nanohenries takes care of that. There's actually a small amplifier inside this oscillator chip, and these resistors form part of it. I want you to know that this isn't the optimal way to set up a radio amplifier. I'm just showing you something that's low powered and will work across a wide range of frequencies. For the antenna, you can just use a piece of wire about a meter long, but only add it after you're done testing things. This capacitor forms a high pass filter to make sure that no DC voltages can accidentally reach the oscillator. Now this pin, the tuning pin, is where the fun starts. By applying a voltage here, we can control the exact frequency that the oscillator spits out. So let's do that. Let's add a simple potentiometer voltage divider circuit to apply an adjustable DC voltage to the tuning pin. Now if you adjust the potentiometer, you change the voltage at the tuning pin, which controls the oscillation frequency. And we can choose pretty much any frequency in the consumer FM radio band. Now let's add a microphone. It's the same basic microphone circuit you've seen in many of my videos before. This will add a tiny millivolt level voltage swing on top of the larger DC tuning voltage. This will modulate our carrier wave just enough to carry audio. Solder the microphone onto the bottom side of the PCB and add your antenna. Now set your FM radio to a blank station and use the potentiometer to adjust the frequency of your transmitter until you hear silence. That's it, your FM transmitter is complete. Actually I didn't. This design is low powered enough that it's legal to use in almost every country. However, what's absolutely not legal anywhere is intentionally trying to transmit on someone else's frequency and drown out their station. It's pretty easy to catch people who do this, so don't do it. Okay, now you know what FM is and you know how to use it to transmit audio. Don't forget to thumbs up if you like the video, and check out my channel for more videos about electronics.